Is this thing on? That's number one. Okay, look at this. It's been seven months since we moved into our dream home here, and this is our backyard, one of my favorite places of the whole yard. Obviously, we've got the pool. I love swimming laps in this thing. It's 67 feet long, so 75 is like the actual Olympic-sized pool. We've got the hot tub at nighttime. It's turning into nighttime now. It gets really dark. It gets dark at nighttime. We turn on the blue lights inside of here and then we turn off the exterior lights of the house and everything out here is just blue. The speakers, we have so many dang speakers, like 35 or 40 inside of the yard. And when we turn it on, I don't even know if you can hear me talking right now. Our neighbors 10 houses down the street can feel the bass. I'm not even joking. The great thing is it doesn't matter where I am in my yard, I can hear it on every single speaker and the bass sounds really good. And then I just turn it off just like that and all of a sudden it's quiet and peaceful. We have an in-ground trampoline. I know this is a common thing inside of Utah, but we had it in our house in Kaysville and we had it here and we always get comments. Oh my gosh, your trampoline's in the ground. That's the smartest thing. So this has been a really fun thing for our kids to have. The next thing I love in this yard is the palm trees. When we first put them in, they were all crimped and tight at the top. They had to do that because the roots on these things needed to really start to grow and build a base because it does get really windy here. And if you have them expanded and the wind blows, it's more likely they're gonna like fall over. But then after six months, they took off the little ropes and now they've spread out. They're green, they're beautiful. I love the slide. Am I gonna slide down? My feet are a little wet. We use this thing a lot. I think honestly, I use it more than the kids, which I don't understand why that is. They love it and they use it and their friends use it. I don't fall in with all my clothes on, the slide is awesome. One of the areas that we've shown you very, very little of our house is right here. We have an outdoor fireplace, which during the summer where we live, it gets over 100 degrees. We don't really need to use a fireplace, but it looks beautiful. It's like an outdoor space, but yeah, a nice little sitting space. We have chairs, we have a couch, we have a little area. We put this nice artwork on the wall. We put all of our things in here, like towels, and goggles and just different things that we need from the pool. And so this little place is a really cool seating area where we just kind of hang out and chill. This sounds really weird, but another thing that I love about out here is this drain that runs all along here. Our builder thought about this at the last minute. They put this on an angle and they put this drain. It doesn't rain here very often, but when it does, it's literally a downpour. Like we'll get inches and inches within an hour. All the water will go onto here and drain out and it goes out to our front yard through a pipe. Super smart, but not everything's perfect when you build a house. And we're gonna show you some of the mistakes that we made and some of the things that need to be fixed still. This is a beautiful plant. It's a real life plant and we have one here, right there, over there and over there. So really nice, there's a plant. We didn't plant it before and so we didn't run drip lines to them. So especially when it's hot in the summertime, every single day Leslie is coming, dragging a hose over and filling this up. Another problem that we had is that it has cracks on here, like stress fractures. It's not really made for such a big and heavy plant. Our landscapers told us that it would work that way. Turns out it doesn't work so well. And then the one part that's really ugly is it leaks out like every day you get this stuff on here. And I think it's gonna make the concrete just look bad over time. I and mean, this is just a few months of having this here and look how it looks. And Leslie pressure washes this probably every week and a half she sprays this off. The second thing that's kind of driven me crazy is, has to do with the speakers. Well, I love the speakers and they're awesome. This is a subwoofer that is supposed to be submerged under the ground, but instead the sub turns into a submarine and every time that it rains, the water content level is so high in here that it just pops out of the ground. Look at this. The bass sounds incredible from it. And I don't want to get rid of it. They've already come in and twice. First time they came, they put this in right here because they're thinking it's the water running off of here. And if this could capture it, that would be enough. Well, that did not do it. So then they dug down and they put some gravel underneath it. That still did not do it. It's been about four weeks since this happened and we're still waiting for the speaker guys to come out and figure out a solution. We might just get rid of the speaker and just get like an exterior speaker that we can set in the patio somewhere that's just a subwoofer that's above the ground and sits on concrete or they're gonna have to dig down pretty deep and like figure this out. So the third thing that's been a little bit annoying is the grass. I mean, it just keeps on dying. Look at this. It's like black right here. It just turns yellow and nasty. And if you look over on this spot, like it's super wet right now. Over here around the sprinkler head, it just totally died. And so they did come in this week and they dug it out, they raked it, and they put a bunch of like seeding for grass. So hopefully it's going to grow back, but it's a, it just keeps on happening and we have to keep watering it more than usual. The fourth thing, well, if I jump too high and go on my back, 
My entire back is going to be wet with swampy water. It's a swamp under there. Underneath this trampoline, the water is not draining properly. It's a swamp land. It's like a pump thing, and it's supposed to be draining the water out of there and pumping it out. Well, this is a temporary fix that was put here two months ago by the landscapers, and it's still there, and the pump is not even doing its job. Part of the problem is we've been watering our lawn more than we probably should have because the grass is dead, and they're running that, and they're trying to get it to grow more. Unfortunately, I think the solution's going to have to be they're gonna need to dig back down even further, put more gravel in there. The last thing that I'm not super pumped about that we are going to fix today has to do with this space right here. It's lovely. It's peaceful. But I would love to be able to come in here with the family sometime and just sit and maybe watch a movie or watch a TV show or watch something on Netflix. Let's go inside the studio, I'll show you what I mean. We are going to have a cookie party with the family tonight as long as I don't eat all the cookies. This is the solution for the last thing that I need inside of my backyard. Today's video is sponsored by Nebula by Anchor. Nebula makes some of the best in class projectors. So you can take the viewing party anywhere that you want to go. Today we have two projectors and uh, we're even gonna give one or two away also. So this is the Cosmos Max 4K 1500 lumens. This one I'm super excited about and I think this is going to be our solution for that sitting area outside. This right here shows movies, YouTube videos, gaming in 4K 1500 lumens quality. Inside of here, they also have the speakers. There's four 10 watt speakers that have Dolby Digital Plus and Sound Dimension. So the sound quality is really good. The viewing quality is in 4K, which we film all of our videos in 4K. We've got our remote control inside of here, cables. The Cosmos Max is a smart projector. And the difference between like a smart projector and a regular projector, if you just have a regular projector, you're going to have to connect either your computer or some sort of other smart device to it. Just imagine this as being all that you need without having to connect a bunch of like HDMI cables, which for the record, there are HDMI cables in the back. If that's what you wanna do, you can still do it. This is for the family. This is for watching on a big wall, 4K quality, really good loud music. But that's not all. I really wanted an option for my kids inside of their room. There's something magical and special about having your own little projector that you can shine in your room and watch content on. This little guy is the Astro and it's perfect for kids. My daughters each have one of these and they've been using it for a while now and they absolutely love it. I know it's bright in here and I'm shining it on the wall, but you can see it does have parental controls on here so I can choose which apps are on there, how long they're able to use it. Another cool thing is that it has eye guard protection. Is this thing on? If somebody moves their face in front of it, it automatically detects it and shuts off. Check that out. Off face is gone, it's on again. I feel like these two things could be great products for you to get while you're staying at home this year. Enough talking about these, let me show you how they work because uh, they are pretty cool. We gotta get this party started, the family's almost home and I've got lots of cookies to eat. Let's do this. Once you turn it on, there are stars on the top. Nebula, stars. I put it on top of a table and it goes just above the fireplace. It already looks pretty clear once I turn off the lights. Got a full on movie out here. We have a bunch of apps on here. YouTube is on here. Google Play with the different movies and things. If you want to watch Netflix, you can go to the Nebula Manager, download Netflix, and you're set. There's quite a few apps. It just keeps going. I'm just going to the end. There's the end. Why are there so many? Play what's inside on YouTube. Playing what's inside on YouTube. Good audio right there. And then check this out. I wasn't even in the YouTube app. It's going on to YouTube over the Wi-Fi. It's signed in. Why is Elon building bricks? Traffic is soul destroying. Acid on the soil. It's horrible. Get your discount bricks here. Have you seen this video yet? This is a boring brick. That was a really fun video. Thank you to Nebula by Anchor for sponsoring this video. We'll put a link in the description to where you can buy them. But there's one question I want to ask Leslie. What? I went through five things that I didn't like about our backyard. What do you think those things were? What? The grass being dead right now? That's number one. That's one of them. Yes, number one for me. Okay. Um, number two would be... I don't know. I don't know. What is it? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me. No. I was Help. Battery's almost dead, you're running out of time. The plant potters. The plant oh, potters. Oh gosh, that's number one. Okay, that's on there, yes. Oh, that was one. The, the plants. What's another one? Oh, I didn't say the seats. We lost the seats. I should have added that. They're coming this week. That wasn't in the video, though. What's another one? Um, 
thing we did oh, is the glass thing that we wanted. The trampoline with the water underneath it. Yes, good job. I'm optimist. I'm so one more for everything. I'm well, so good. What's another one? Give me a hint. How you did get to do that glass? It has to do with water. submarines. That you wanted a glass, like you wanted a tunnel underneath the house. I did want a tunnel underneath the house, but that is not one of the things. <laughs> what would it be? Submarines that Submarines? are submerging. And they oh, the speaker, the, the, what's it called? Yeah, the subwoofer. Subwoofer. Subwoofer submarine oh, submerging. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. There it is. That. Those are the things I don't like about our yard. Okay. And that I we don't have a TV or a projector in here. Yeah. And that is solved. Thank you to yes. Anchor, Nebula always, by Anchor. Like as a kid, I always thought it was so cool when I'd see people having stuff like this, or even like when we lived up north. Pretty cool. Pretty now cool. We can have like parties and friends over. You look very nice today. Did you know we are filming? Your hair looks nice. I took a shower today. Woo! <laughs> Quarantine life. I love the trampoline. Our neighbors are starting to build. Their house is like really close. We approved it. It's like three feet from our house. Their RV garage, super close. And there's a the dog. Hi dog. Hi. What's inside the speaker? It's pretty tight. We have a new YouTube channel. Did you know that? It only has 11,000 subscribers. We just started it this last week. 